GSK is about to complete a four-year breakup plan. The British drug maker set out its intention to hive off the unit that makes Sensodyne toothpaste and Advil painkillers in 2018. And on Monday, this new business called Halion will be listed in London. And the point of this breakup is sort of to unleash the potential of the remaining pharma business. And that makes remedies like HIV treatments and vaccines for shingles. But there's a possible fly in the ointment. GSK is losing exclusivity on a molecule contained in four of its top selling HIV drugs. And that happens in 2027. So that could lead to a loss of nearly five billion pounds per year UBS reckon. GSK's advance into long-acting treatments could alleviate some of that pain and there's a few things in the pipeline that Emma Walmsley, the CEO, can kind of turn to. But there is something that's making investors nervous. So despite the fact that GSK operates in this high growth vaccine business where shingles is the dominant vaccine, the whole business trades at a discount to rivals like Roche. And to close this gap, Wamsey's gonna have to prove that she can do some smart M&A. So essentially she can build businesses as well as she can break them up. Thank you.